Um, you know, it's obviously a, a good win for us against a very, very good team that's been playing well. Uh, you know, I thought the defensive activity created 22 turnovers, and you know, I thought our verticality and just our presence at the rim and making things difficult, both you know, Al and Paul. Um, and you know, I thought the pace with which we played, going back at them, the way we moved the ball, moved people. It's just all the stuff we kind of talk about every day. Um, so we need to build off this, and we need to see if we can do it more, you know, on an individual basis. Obviously, Al Horford was, uh, and that was very, very uh, vintage special. So, and I think everybody kind of followed his lead tonight. I thought his, he was ver verbal or vocal in the timeouts, coming off the court, talking. And, uh, you know, we just need to, we want to play like this more often. It's not easy, but that's, uh, that's what you want to do. Coach, how do you plan to do that, especially with the next couple of games going on the road? Build that consistency of getting off to a bad start. Yeah, you know, I mean, we'll we'll have a, a day or two of good practice, and you know, the coaches think that's great. The players aren't so sure, um, and you know, hopefully, we can come out and play better. Um, we haven't played well. I don't think two or three years ago we haven't played well. Come out for three or four day break, so I'm sure they'll hear about that. And I, they they know it. So we'll want to play a lot better in Charlotte you know, than we have in the past in this situation. Kind of before the game, you're concerned about the Chicago size. That's the obvious worry going into a game like this. What does it say that your your best player, best players, really your big guys, are going to play out? Yeah, you know, I think we always are talking about you know how unique um, Al and Paul are, and how many different things they do, and, and I think those skills hopefully can counter sometimes what you know may be perceived as a as maybe not a strength or you know that we're. You know, undersized or something like that. And, you know, some nights it goes against us. But tonight, you know, the skills and the athleticism and the versatility, you know, uh, were obviously very good for us. Coach, Dennis was plus 18, which was second only to Al Horford. How did you feel about his performance in the first quarter when he had to come in early when Teague went to the locker room? Yeah, I thought Dennis was very good. You know, I think it's maybe three, four games in a row where he's come in really focused, um, brought an edge to us, brought a toughness to us on defense. And obviously, you know, when Jeff goes down with an ankle, you got to be ready. He went early, and I thought he was very good. And when he came back, he was good. And he was just, you know, he put together, um, you know, a very good game tonight. It's good to see a young player do it, you know, coming off for one or two or three good games already. Mike, after three weeks of slow starts, what was the reason you got off to such a fast start tonight? I mean, did they do anything even preaching that? Three weeks they haven't done, but I mean, you get on both ends of the court. The energy was great everywhere. No, I, I, I think that you know it's a prideful group, and um, at some point, I think you just you want to change it. And it, we we didn't say anything or do anything different or talk. And I think we wanted to play with a lot of pace tonight. We wanted to try and get out and, and move them. Um, you know, on both ends of the court, we wanted to use our speed. And, um, you know, so that may have helped. But, you know, we say similar things before other games, and it doesn't seem to, you know, maybe have the impact that it did tonight. Or tonight, I just thought the players were great. When you, when it comes together like it did tonight, you said it's things you say all the time. When it does come together on a night like this, does it get back to pride? They're playing a team that's number two in the East and they've won six straight. Does the opponent perhaps make it all come together more? I mean, they were focused all the way. So yeah, no, I mean, I think. Chicago's been playing so well. They've really, you know, we've talked uh, about kind of how the East is bunched up and nobody can really separate themselves. Nobody can have the consistency. And Chicago had done that, you know, the last 10 days or two weeks. And they were starting to emerge as that, you know, second team. And um, I'm sure our guys wanted to make sure that, you know, we'd like to be that group and we'd like that to be the team that has some consistency and finds a way to put games back to back. And, you know, it starts with, with playing them. So it may have helped. All right, thank you.